Okay, Cancer. So, I'm just going to warn you right now that these readings are absolutely batshit today. Um, they're all over the place. I'm going to guess it's the energy of retrograde, shadow period. Um, I know that we're going into like, what, like six planets going into retrograde. I, I don't know. I don't also, I, so I'm using an old deck, okay, which is my vice versa deck, which I used to always use, which I was completely in love with. Um, I don't know if it's this deck either. You know, I did smudge it and I did put um, tourmaline on it, but I'm going to tell you after today, this deck is going to go on the shelf just in case it is that. Of course, if I pull out another deck for the following signs and I still get chaos, I know it wasn't my deck and it's just like this energy is sucky. So that's your warning ahead of time. I also just posted that because these readings are so nuts that I will be pulling for only positive things like the good things coming this week as well okay so that you guys have something to go on other than just like bullshit chaos now I could be wrong this could be the best reading of your life but we will see cancer cancer sun moon and rising cancer Starting off with the Five of Swords immediately, feeling like the wounded warrior. Now, it does look like you did the wounding, but, um, you know, yeah, this was this was a situation where you trusted somebody and you really felt like there was some benefit to them in your life, and they are manipulative. They are, they're the ones that, like, cause you pain and then cry that, that they're upset, that they've been hurt, Okay. Cancer. I have air sign here coming in. Oh, geez. Okay, there's a lot of people involved here, Cancer. It's a lot of people involved here. We have air with some nasty-ass messages. We have... Scorpio looks like a good situation for you, and I'm not seeing this as change. This is an actual, like, Scorpio energy it doesn't have to be an actual Scorpio, but a Scorpio energy where this person is, like, coming to your aid. We have an Earth sign in the reverse. We have, um, looks like, I'm going to guess this is you. Yeah, this is you in the reverse and the Ten of Wands, I mean, Ten of Swords here. Um... You have somebody in your energy that, by the way, when you're out of the room, they are talking very highly of you. They are coming to your aid. They are a genuine friend or whatever they are to you, okay? So just keep that in mind. So if you have all these people coming at you um, or causing you some sort of pain, whether it's in the workplace or family or whatever, whatever it is, just know that there is somebody, very heavy Scorpio energy is, that is like, yeah, you're not going to screw around with cancer um, behind their back. I'm not going to allow this. Lots of arguments coming your way. It really does feel like, guys, this is work-related, but take it as it resonates. That air sign is just not giving up. They are relentless. I do see you trying to, like, calm them, soothe them, deal with them in um, a very mature sort of manner. Why is Pisces pulling up to the show here? could be a family member or a business partner or somebody some sort of confidant here they're having issues too but they're still coming to your aid doesn't have to be a Pisces guys this could just be like a you know a very feminine energy of somebody you know who who I have like witchy vibes from them, but it doesn't have to be. We have the tower. Why is that? Walking away, very painful, getting some messages that were very hurtful, but honest things that you didn't expect that you were going to hear, leaving somebody behind. It's going to suck. It's going to suck, to, but it's like you have to do it for you. Um, you can't allow this person to affect you any longer the way they have been. 
Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Somebody is going to have a lot of regret, okay? I feel like they're physically moving to a distance, but it doesn't have to be. Um, it, it, it's going to take, take a lot for them to move on. A lot. Um, you are dealing with more than one person. This person's coming out as an earth sign. doesn't have to be. But you are dealing with a lot. And I'm seeing a very woody area. There's a burden that comes with this person leaving. <clears throat> it's a burden to them, not to you. For cancer. Somebody's making a decision. Cancer, you like, might be moving as well. If not moving, you're taking some sort of trip to get your energy back, to feel better. This is going to be like a fun trip. It's not going to be uh, work-related. For those of you that are moving, it's going to be in your best interest. Why are you holding out hope here? You're still watching somebody. Okay. Okay. So very specific to somebody out there. You've been watching somebody for a while and you really like the style of how they do something. So I'll give the example of like maybe you're an artist and you've been watching this one artist for a number of years and you're like, oh my gosh, I want to replicate what they do. Not like steal their ideas, but like get some sort of, they're like your muse, you know, that sort of thing. You're going to find out that this person is like a con artist. Um, same goes with, like I said, if it's a romantic situation, if it's a boss you idolized, if it's a... Um, something like that and then you're going to change the way that you've been handling things because you're like well shit I not, I'm not going to do that I didn't realize that this person was a phony was, was a fraud and um, that's going to sort of like propel you into something more successful for you financially it's like, it's like watching the, the women work out and then you find out they just get liposuction and everything's lifted. It's like it's such a freaking disappointment, right? The number eight is relevant, so karma and working really hard. Now I don't see um, I don't see you guys being able to like completely leave a, a, a financial situation. Like it's not like you can just give up your job and run away, go live on an island. That's going to cause you a little bit of grief, but it's like you're going to have to figure out how to deal with it now because you're going through all these different changes and how, how you're bringing in your income. If you've been dealing with a boss that has been giving you a hard time, I see that actually turning around for you as well. They might be getting in trouble over something, some sort of scandal, and that could be part of it, or they've just been demoted or um, you know something like that. Cancer. Reminiscing about a happier time could be with could be with a romantic situation or it could just be with um like family members, something of that nature. The cards are saying you need to be very, very careful with your energy at this time as well. You can't let people emotionally deplete you. Um, you have a lot of work to get done. You have a lot of changes. So you can't allow these people to interfere with with you anymore. Okay? So it's not it's sorta of hard, you know, to deal to do that to completely cast people aside sometimes, but but the cards are saying it's really, really necessary right now. Especially if you were dealing with a heavy drinker. It's still saying you might be deciding to move, okay? And you might move on a whim, just an FYI. It might be one of those things where, like I said, you take a vacation, decide you want to move, or you decide you want to move... Uh, maybe you work from home, maybe you own your own business, something of that nature. I feel like when that happens, it's going to be like that. It's just going to be like one day you wake up and you're like, oh, you know what? Today is a good day. 
today's a good day to go find a new home. <laughs> like, it's going to be very strange. Somebody might be moving closer to, like, an old friend or an old ex-lover. Somebody that you still get along with, okay? Cancer, this isn't somebody you're an enemy with. Messages about... Okay, for those of you that own your own business, there could be a brief period of time where you're going to hear messages about, um, uh, like, some clients leaving or some financial mishap don't worry that's going to change it's it's going to be very brief okay so it's nothing to really panic over um if you have decided to move your business to another location um it might take a bit to get it off the ground it's not going to be like instant success Investments are, it, it's okay time to invest in any, blah, 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 blah. it's a good time to invest anywhere right now as in like if you're into investing, if you're into purchasing homes and flipping them, if you're into uh, anything like that, it, now is the time. Please wait till after Mercury retrograde though, cause, you know, you know how that goes. It stalls the process. Something always ends up going wrong. I do see you becoming more financially successful. I really, really do. And I don't think it's that far away for cancer. See, your reading's not that bad, guys. I think I gave you a warning for no reason. <laughs> this is an okay read. This is not bad, cancer. Letting go of somebody who's very toxic. Heavy on the Capricorn. They were getting in your way. Healing energy. We do have the star here. Some of you could be meeting. Some of you could be meeting a Leo in the future. This is. I'm getting light hair, but take it as it resonates. And this would lead to actually like a long-term commitment. If it's not a Leo, it could be an Aquarius, but I'm getting a lot of Leo. It's gonna shake you up a little bit. Definitely gonna shake you up. It looks good though. It does look good. Make sure you guys aren't being like immature about anything though. Like be upfront. Um, I feel like there could be a lot of petty arguments with this person, but but it honestly it does look like it could be long term. You may overthink it. You might need some time apart when you meet this person because it's going to go you know, pretty positively, they find you very attractive, you find them very attractive, and it's going to kind of scare you, okay? And I see the king and the queen here, and they're literally on top of each other, and I think that it could really, and the ten of cups, cancer, all right, screw you, with the hierophant. <laughs> Be careful not to take anybody back during Mercury retrograde either, okay? That's, um, that's a definite warning here, especially another water sign. All right, Cancer, this was a good read, so I'm going to leave it at that. I don't think it's my, I don't think it's my deck now. I think it was just Scorpio and Pisces. All right, well, I hope this helps.